Who is the most insufferable fandom? I bet like the armies, blinks and stays are just like, just fall. I know I'm gonna be out, so just vote. So I asked a bunch of K-pop fans some questions to find out, you know, the real questions that everyone wants to know. Who's the most insufferable fandom? You know, best vocalist, best visual, best live performers, worst live performers. I've asked all of those questions and I'm going to give you the results today. So if you want to get involved with these kinds of things, they are always going to be on my YouTube community tab and you can click the links of the forums and you can just input your results. That's how I did this. So I just wanted to let you guys know that you can now join my channel as a member there is a little button by the subscribe button if you want to have cute emojis like this and these really pretty member stickers next to your name in the comment section uh you know feel free to join if you want to anyway moving on i do just want to note before i start that i have left out a few names the only reason why i didn't include every single group and every single idol was because it would be too tedious for the people answering the survey so i tried to keep it as brief as possible if i missed any of your favorite idols in the categories feel free to comment them down below of who you think wins the category because i just couldn't put everyone on there i'm really sorry okay question number one was who is the most overrated slash overhyped group and the results are so from first to third place we got blackpink with 155 votes bts with 84 votes and stray kids with 47 votes as you can see by the pie chart right here Blackpink won by a whopping 30%. I did ask people to give me the reasonings behind their answers. So let's read some for the top three groups here. Blackpink. I stand Blackpink, but they are not this talented to be glazing them every day. The stage presence is really good, but especially for the vocals, except Rosé, people glaze them too much. Blackpink. I still believe they are very talented. It mostly has to do with how popular they are. That doesn't mean that I want them to lose any success though. BTS, because despite Despite loving the fact that they have done so much for K-pop, I can't stand their fans always bringing them up when the combo is about something else and saying stuff like, BTS gave everyone a chance by going to the military. Like, we get it. They did a lot, but I would like to read nice comments about the group I'm watching instead of seeing haters. I picked BTS. I don't really get their hype. I personally think their music is worse than the average boy group songs. I picked Stray Kids. Not because they're bad, but because their fandom treats them like all of them are all-rounders when they are clearly not and it's okay to admit that. I picked Stray Kids because honestly their music is horrible. And I've decided I am never going to talk about Stray Kids again. So the next question I asked you guys was who is the best live performer and the results are 80s, Stray Kids and BTS. So as you can see by the pie chart, 80s won by 79 votes, Stray Kids with 62 and BTS with 46. And then I asked you guys who are the worst live performers. So the winners of this category are Eyelit, La Seraphim and Blackpink. Guys, you have to see the pie chart. Eyelit got a whopping 169 votes, followed by Le Seraphim with 130, and Blackpink had 60 votes. I then asked you guys, who is the fourth generation It Girl? And the results were Won Young, Other, and Corinna. As you can see by the pie chart here, Won Young got 411 votes, whereas I got 28 for Other and 25 votes for Corinna. See, the, my categories make no sense sometimes. I don't know. It was, it was kind of hard to think of like every single group. Like, I can't put every single group on the list. Guys, understand me, I can't put every single person, every single group on the list because it would make it too long for people to answer. And in the same vein, I asked people, who is the fourth generation it boy? And now this is where I need to tell you guys, uh, I'm not a boy group fan, so I'm not too aware of all of the uh, boy group members. So I picked who I was aware of. And of course we have an other category on here as well. Feel free to like leave in the comments what you think about it. So the results were Yeonjun, Hyunjin and Felix. Yeonjun got 177 votes, Hyunjin with 124 and Felix with 99. Again, if you have anyone to add, literally just comment. The next question is, who is the best Izone re-debut? So the results are Ive, Le Seraphim and Yena. Ive won by 372 votes, Le Seraphim with 68 and Yena with 26. Guys, a lot of my subscribers are probably dives. So <laughs> again, comment section. My next question is, 
who was the most disappointing soloist coming from a large group? So the results are Jisoo, Zui, and Lisa. So Jisoo won by 116 votes, Zui with 77, and Lisa with 54. Now this category also has a reason why, so let's read a few for the winners. Jisoo, cause that girl cannot do anything. And to top it all off, her solo was boring as fuck. Jisoo, this is gonna make me look like a fake bias. You couldn't pay all the money in the world to play flower and not fall asleep. Zui works great in a group, just don't feel like she has enough energy or stage presence to be a soloist after watching her performances. I picked Zui, she does not shine as a soloist. Lisa, because her music is just so subpar yet she does well anyway. Lisa, I hate her solo music so much, it is not my style at all, very underwhelming. The next category is who is the biggest contender for 5th generation IT girl? Now I know 5th gen has just started but this is just an interesting topic. Don't lynch me. So the results of this one are Julie, Ion and Wanhee. Julie won by 187 points with Ion one point behind her and Wanhee with 78 points. Now this one I just wanted to stir the pot. I asked you guys who is the most insufferable fandom? And the results for this one are armies, blinks, and stays. <laughs> oh, it's not fair. I don't think oh anybody God, had like no. an upper hand in that. I'm gonna be hella mean. I'm gonna be so mean. I just knew it because I just knew it's nothing against the fandoms from me myself. It's just a common thing I see online. I knew it. So armies won with 196 votes, blinks with 134 and stays with 71. So this is also one of those questions. I added a reasons why part two. So let's read a few out for our winners. It feels weird calling them winners because isn't it like a, it's kind of a losing situation, but who cares if you're an annoying fandom, embrace it. You piss people off. You piss people off, that's not necessarily a bad thing. <laughs> You're in their minds rent free. Army, goodness, they just think that their boys can never do any wrong and also that everything is somehow tied to them. Like, no, that like that one channel who made video essays all about BTS, how this, that BTS is a victim, blah, blah, blah. They are millionaires and none of the Quad Ing songs deserve Grammys anyway. ARMY, I can't stand how weird they are. They think everything is about BTS. Blinks, the drama this fandom can create when there was no reason for it at all is amazing. Like, who cares who is Blackpink's successor? I get the company was doing marketing and whatever, but does it matter? I also hate some blinks picking a member from a group and saying they're like so and so. No, they are not. And let them be their own person before they disappoint you. A lot of them like setting up the path to a hate train when no one asked. Blinks, I've just seen a lot of pretty insufferable blinks and there is a pretty big problem with misogyny among them too. Stays, I'm a stay myself so this is very personal to me. They attacked Ive based on Chan's words out of context. They can't take criticism, they attacked Woo Jin before anything was confirmed but denied Hyun Jin when he was falsely accused of bullying someone, also before any proof. They bullied Choi Sivan for looking at Hyun Jin, they bullied Won Young for touching Hyun Jin's shoulder, they bully everyone, they are the reason, not dive, for Chan's room to be removed and they just cause so much hurt. They can be funny for sure, I have found great fans for sure but have been shunned and called a fake fan because I didn't want to participate in Won Young's hate train. Stays, because they be bringing down any group in existence while their faves sound like dying rats. On a more light-hearted note, we're getting into our best of each category. We're going to start with the best vocalist. So the answers are... Wendy, Lily and Taeyeon. Wendy won with 148 votes, Lily with 95 and Taeyeon with 81. Now on to best dancer. The results are Taemin, Momo and Lisa. Taemin with 116 votes, Momo with 90 and Lisa with 67. Now best rapper. So the answers are Soyeon, Sugar, and Changbin. So Soyeon got 111 votes, Sugar with 92, and Changbin with 71. So the last of the best positioning category is who is the best visual? The winners are Wonyoung, Corinna, and Irene. Wonyoung with 169 votes, Corinna with 56, and Irene with 47. For this question, I asked people, who has the worst group dynamic? Like they don't like each other or something. Of course, this is a very speculative question because obviously we don't know 
uh, how they actually interact with each other. It's just for fun, guys. Bore off. <laughs> so the answers are Cat's Eye and Blackpink. Now I missed one and you might be thinking, why? Um, I did put like a other section in case people didn't want to interact with the question. So Cat's Eye won with 146 and Blackpink with 63. So for this one, I also asked people why they chose who they chose. So let's go through some of them. Cat's Eye, they do not seem to like each other. They just in the group. And I say it because of the feelings after watching the Netflix show, I don't like their energy. Cat's Eye, but I don't really think they hate each other, but maybe because the way their show was cut. Blackpink, because it just feels awkward watching them together sometimes. Maybe it's because of solo stands constantly pitting them against each other that makes them seem fake. Chose Blackpink because there always seems to be some form of tension whenever they are on stage together and it makes it uncomfortable to watch. On a bit of a brighter note, I asked which was the funniest or most stupid cancellation? And the winners are Won Young eats a strawberry in a cringe way, appropriating Korean culture while being Korean, and Yuna falling off of a chair on live. So Won Young Strawberry Gate won by 181 votes and 74 votes for Mamamoo appropriating Korean culture while being Korean, and 56 votes for Yuna falling off of a chair in her life. Now, of course, I had to ask people to add more scandals to the list, so let's read a few of them out for good faith. The member of Momoland staring with hate on stage. <laughs> Won Young wanting to be the main character. Like, people are so jealous of her, it's crazy. A while ago, someone made a tweet accusing Sung Min of making a 9-11 joke, not true. The same account then replied to themselves using the same account to alert Stays of the accusation so Stays could defend him. Genuinely one of the stupidest things I've seen a fan do. Inche from La Seraphim putting a sticker on a staff member's water bottle and being called disrespectful online because of it. Irene getting backlash for having feminist literature. Recently Glee, I'm so sorry if I said her name wrong, got cancelled for posing for the cameras in a pick me way. Sujin's bullying scandal, for there wasn't consistent evidence and overall it's so sad to see how badly she was hated because nobody deserves that. Similar for La Seraphim as the hate chain was disgusting, especially as Inche was a minor. Also, by the way, I love watching your videos. Have an amazing day. Thank you. <laughs> And for the last and final question, just for a bit of fun, which idol do you think is secretly dating or even married with children? Jin definitely is married with three kids. Nah, any more of her gen boy group EXO or BTS must be having kids and hiding it or paying news real well. Not shipping, but Sungoon and Wonyoung, I don't know why. Probably Jennie and V, but you just can't make me give a shit about idols' love lives. I don't care about any celebrities' love lives. Honestly, so that honestly you're the realest person i've ever seen it's good i am anonymous but sana and i are secretly dating i just can't say anything because of company policy i wish you well i hope your relationship lasts a very long time my love i don't know but i think the tay x jenny rumors might be true so that is the end of the i guess quote unquote k-bob awards like i'm not qualified to sit here like do i look like snl the fucking grammys or something i don't know i hope you enjoyed watching the video again if i missed any of your faves I'm really sorry, I just didn't want the survey to be super long. I already included so many groups and so many people. You know, if you're someone trying to answer it, it would be really annoying if you have to fucking scroll through loads of different idols. Yeah, if you like this video, make sure to like this video. If you don't like this video, comment down below why you don't like this video respectfully. Anyone being disrespectful to any idol, myself, or any fellow commenters will be swiftly removed from my channel because I don't take that shit. And I hope everyone has a lovely rest of their day. Bye-bye.